Good morning. Happy Monday. Super excited to start a beautiful sunny day where we live in the Northeast. It is a long time before we start to see warm weather. And so I'm excited to report that by the end of this week, it's supposed to be in the 80s. So we are excited. Baseball track, all the things are happening this week in our household. And so just coming to you guys quickly Monday morning and to talk to you about mindset. And it's so crazy when I think about all the different things that I have going on in my life, it all stems back to my mindset. And really, when we don't change the things that are happening between our ears, the rest of our life will not fall into place. I promise you, whatever goal that you have is going to start in your head first, whether you believe you can or you can't, that is the truth. So the number one thing that I always come across of when I'm talking to um, women throughout my day is be how are you be, how are you so motivated how are you still here week after week month after month day after day why how does that like how do I get that right like I wish I wish I could say to you here's my motivation use my motivation today um, but that's not always the case and I feel like Yes, you can get excited about starting something new and, and excited about committing to something and excited about being part of our community, right? And that like initial excitement is what motivates you to start, right? But as you start to get into it and some time goes by, it loses that luster. I'm going to be honest with you. What we are doing every single day is not sexy. And it can be mundane, right? And it can be like, okay, do I want to do this or do I want to exercise? Or do I, you start to tell yourself, well, my family takes my priority. They need me to be here. They need, or or whatever your, your, your career is taking your priority, like whatever is pulling you away from taking care of yourself, right? Um, and so we have to find that within ourselves. So number one, huge, big thing, it takes discipline. You have to practice that discipline and that willpower every single day. So how do we do that? How do we make that easier for ourselves? Well, once we start to establish some habits and create that consistency and practice that time over time, it just starts to become automatic, okay? The other thing that I wanna tell you is those things that are pulling you in your life, your career, your family, um, your business, whatever is pulling you in that other direction, that those things won't be good until you are good, right? So thinking about fitness, health, nutrition, taking care of yourself, all that stuff is going to make you a better person. It's going to make you a better mom, a better sister, a better wife, a better coworker, a better leader, a better entrepreneur, whatever it is that you are, that you have going on in your life, it's going to make you better. It is not there to, to detract from your life. It is there to improve your life, to complement your health and to make you strong, have that translate beyond the gym, right? And we talked about that mindset right away. That's going to give you confidence. That's going to get you excited, get you motivated to do all the other things in your life, right? I always tell people or we are ask people, why do you work out, right? The people that are already have fitness part of their life. Why do you do that already? Because it makes you happy, because it makes you strong. I mean, you should go on my page and see the different ex examples. I posted that a couple of weeks ago. It was a mile long of answers from women, what fitness gives to them. It makes me happy, it makes me sane, it makes me a better mom, it makes me more patient, it makes me have these endorphin rush, it helps me to be not stressed and have no anxiety, la 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 la, the list goes on and on and on. Okay, so obviously the benefits are there, right? We have to put that force field around our head. Uh, this week, if you're following me on my page, I'm gonna be talking about uh, personal development and mindset. I, you know, all of these things are a big part of my life and I cannot stress enough about how all the things, when you have all the pieces coming together, that's how you lead a healthy and fulfilling life and you're successful at it, right? And once it's your job, then you feel that much more accountable to doing those things more. And so that's a little tip and a little hint. Um, big reason why I love what I do is because it's surrounding around taking care of me. And I feel that obligation and that accountability to my clients and to you and to all the people that are in my space um, to keep going, right? So that's the ultimate in motivation there, okay? So 
one thing to take away this week is that, um, you know, motivation gets you started, but habits are going to keep you going. So once you are consistently doing those things every single day, over time, they will compound into big things, right? It doesn't happen overnight, okay? It does take practice, just like anything. You have the willpower muscle, you have your muscle muscles, you have your cardio, you have eating, you know, the right things. Um, we're gonna talk more and more about the build your plate method. Um, I'm gonna kind of dive into that a little bit more this month, um, talking about uh, some things in there. So if you have questions on anything of that nature, please let me know. I'm also going to be putting my um, to this morning's live class um, inside this newsletter. So it was a 30 minute Tabata. It was so much fun. Um, I want you to check it out. Um, give me your feedback and let me know what you think. I'm excited to share that and so much more with you the rest of this month. If you have any questions, let me know. How can you be 1% better today than you were yesterday and last week? I want to hear from you. Message me and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.